Yen Hemset Hell. Oh, Move, move. I'm going to find every stone circle, the Sphinx and Pyramids too, and I'll find my place. My son. Your name, Hemu, means Egypt. Like Egypt. You are forever changed. The stars are yours now. And your place is with them. The Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. hidden entrance. How long has this been here? <clears throat> ah, a dead end. It does not make sense. Well, there must be a way forward.
not Egyptian. Retransmission, segment six, requiring contemporaneity. It has been 109 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Wake up. Not from a dreamless sleep or an absence of light, but from a reality that will soon cease to be. Wake up. This chapter is unstoppable. And yet, the greatest revolutions sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility, do they not? Change your mind, subvert your perception, stop this world, bend it into something new. Destiny is not without irony. Here I am, imploring a lesser version of myself to do what I could never do. In this timeless moment, you and I are a bridge, both of us from different eras meeting halfway at the narrowing of the hourglass in this ocean of sand. It is not enough to tell time. You must learn time. To work with your shielding this is a slave, and in so doing, escape the inescapable. Fill in the blanks, the ones hiding between words, between worlds. Find the spaces that we could not erase, the variables that ended up erasing us. If you do not, they will erase you as well. Time told of a story that ended with us, and now it tells of a story that ends with you. Once upon a time, a new story will begin. After the functions which run our days have scattered into an array of random numbers. We found solace in order. We thought it would help us rule the world. We were wrong. Order never served us. It has kept us within the code, within the boundaries. We were tricked into thinking we were the ones writing the rules when they were in fact guiding us to our conclusion. You need to transgress. You of all people understand the value of disobeying. Take an unexpected turn away from the path that is drawn straight ahead of you. The Anus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. But the animus bears a fatal flaw. It follows the rules from those who embrace order, just as we do. It allows you to witness, but not alter. Your animus is different, as is the mind that imagined it. It could escape the code. It could do that leap and make possible a decision that defies the order of things that are. Wake up. Be the chaos that comes to be. Gods are just like you and me. Remember. Nothing is real. Everything is permitted.
Bonnie and Leon, Please save my boy. He's not a criminal. Will no one help my son? He served Rome well. Thank you for stopping. My husband was a protector like you. I have screamed myself hoarse for days. No one cares. What seems to be the problem, Nebet? My Titus. My poor Titus. Imprisoned at the barracks for trying to leave the army. He is a deserter. No, a hero. He'd had enough, stood up against the Roman army, and joined the rebels. Please, he's my only child, and all I have left. I will look into it. Do not worry. <laughs> I should be cautious around here. <coughs> You, Titus, your mother sent me. Yes, by the gods, thank you, protector. But Egypt is in danger. I must get free. Why would the army lock up their own men? Papo taught me to be a fighter, but he believed in honor and justice. The Navak of the Roman fleet at Apollonia Marcella Sassina is planning an invasion. Ah, they mean to take Egypt. Yes, so I deserted. I will not stay here doing Leander of Flavio's dirty work. Where's the Navak? On his ship. He patrols the waters between Cyrene and Apollonia. Killing him will throw the fleet into chaos. Go with his head, Titus. I will deal with the Navak. Oh, 
Chi dei udicchi un puere? Secondo! Dio, continua!
I should not be seen in this area. We look prohibited. This day, at the camp, the camp it is. Καλώς. Είμαι oh. από Φανίν. Βακέχμενο. not to draw attention here. Put me at Nunk. This day.
Non c'è arte! Lattiri di roba! Ma chiave! Ti vi manere! Vijay, help me! Oh, Gloria, protect our Vijay, please! We are in great danger! Vijay, help me! Oh, Gloria, protect our Vijay, please! We are in great danger! Oh, Gloria, protect our Egypt, please! We are in great danger! Stati! Conquiesco! Morzate bastardos! Oh. 
Kod tuom animum offenderit! Set sanguinum a sepulcro! Decore, quid acidit? Bere, tu iluk! Non liste ivi! E davo vos in conto! Wait a minute. <coughs> Call this a challenge? You look much better without all that skin. I'll take you. Stand and fight. There you are. Crows will have a great feast.
Vijay, help me. Oh, Gloria, protect our Vijay. Please, we are in great danger. You have done me a good Shit! Vijay, help me! Oh, Gloria, protect our Vijay! Please, we are in great danger! Who are you? An Egyptian like yourself, Seni. For the safety of Egypt, we must flee! Why did the Romans capture you? For the knowledge I have. But we should not talk here. I am one of Apollodorus most trusted spies. Part of his divine manipulation of the threads. Someone betrayed us. Gave up our agents in Serineca. That is how the Centurion found me. He has a list of names. Then it cannot remain in his hands. He patrols the border towers. Find the bastard. See what information he has. What others can be saved. For Egypt. For a free Egypt. May our victories multiply. <laughs>
Gladius meius divi! There is another spy in Balagre. He is in great danger. Gods here are vigilant. Confute! Et morto e sunt!
I will not betray the Black Land, despots. Are you Gupta? Uh, yes. Did Apollodorus send you? Uh, no matter. We must escape. Who shot that? Got a nerve, but I will deal with you. Roma is no friend to our people of the Nile. She will crush us beneath her sandal. How did you know of me, Magi? The Centurion's list led me to you, and another of your comrades at the fort. Apollodorus will want to know that we are compromised, and a Roman invasion of the Black Lands inevitable. Thank you, Magi, for Egypt. For a free Egypt. May our victories multiply. Spare a moment for it. What is this madness, old man? Your eyes have been ravaged. Yes, a manticore devoured them. A mythical beast stole your sight. With the face of a woman and the body of a lion. That is one ferocious lion. Quick, before she returns, take me to my friend Theramenes at the clinic. He will know what to do. Madness is your bedfellow. But I cannot leave you here to be eaten by beasts. <laughs> I only went berry picking. There are many wild animals about. Do you not have a bow? A bow against a manticore? My bow has killed a thousand beasts. Ah, are you the griffin spiriting me off? Be still, Galenos. It is me, Bayek, your savior. Are we near, near the clinic, Bayek? I hope so. Tyrion and Menin said, Ite, Ite. 
Are you the healer Theramenes? Yes, yes, is that Galenos? By the fates, what happened to him? I found him by the road, crying that the Manticore took his eyes. And his wits along with them. I have honey and euphrasia, but the temple purloined my more exotic supplies. I've brought him this far, so what do you need? You'll help? Wonder of wonders, I will give you a list. Ah, let's see what the Ramanes can do with this. Oi, it is maze on... How is our patient? A babbling fool. We'll get no sense from him till I can relieve his pain. Silphium extract will do it. That Roman weed? Silphium is our weed, and because of the Romans, it's almost extinct. They process it at the depot north of here. Which is heavily guarded, I bet. Should be no problem for one as resourceful as you. <laughs> If Diocles was my lover, I would chain him to the bed before I let him into the bed. Hey, Papa! That is because you think of nothing but men. Praxila had to. Whoa. This area is off limits. Ego, stand up, give it a lord. Look, Miris, bastardos. I should return this wonder cure to the Ramanes. You are a marvel. I will bring our friend back to his senses. Not that he had that many to begin with. If I stumble across a manticore stalking the woods of Balagre, I will bring you its head. Now that I would welcome, my boy. They say that its venomous sting will paralyze a man instantly. I could have some use for that. Medicinally speaking, of course. <laughs> of course. Farewell, Feramines. Farewell, Bayak, and watch out for Manticores.
Stop pissing off the foreman. Last thing we need is to get shipped off to the aqueduct. That place is the bowels of Hades. I saw Cousin Hoy yesterday. He said the Romans will start making examples of people soon. Cut a few throats. Romans? Huh. Sometimes I wonder if we made the right decision coming here. Fayum was not so bad. The foreman sent a guard to check on us? We were not complaining. We were working hard. I'm not a guard. I'm a Medjai from Siwa. Does he treat you badly? The work here looks backbreaking. No. Compared to the sea ones up at the aqueduct, we are revered like pharaohs. I would not go that far. Are there problems at the aqueduct? Some snooty engineer, Vitruvius. He is working our countrymen to death. And now the Roman army is involved, which is never good. I will see what is going on, Seni. Maybe the lash will loosen your tongue. Enough! My workers are not to blame. Send me some soldiers with half a brain, or we'll never find my diopter. General Agrippa will hear of this. A Roman standing up for Egyptians. Pathetic. Tell Agrippa I need real soldiers who will help me find these thieves. Now scuttle back to your wine, you sacks of uselessness. Are you the one responsible for working my people to death? Your people? They are my people. I'm keeping them alive in the face of increasingly bad odds. But who are you, my Egyptian friend? Bayek of Siwa, protector of these people. Well, Bayek of Siwa, I am Vitruvius, and contrary to popular belief, not all Romans are your enemy. If you would help your people, then help me. Our tools have been stolen. My surveying tool, the Dioptra, specifically. Without it, construction has stalled on the aqueduct. The General's idiots believe my workers are to blame. Maybe I can look for this Dioptra. With it, this elevated river would flow into the farms of Cyrenaica. Talk to Dady up at the construction site. He used it last. Fortuna go with you, Bayek of Siwa. Anicero. Are you daddy? Fire coach. I, I, I did not take it. Please, do not kill me. Daddy, wait. <clears throat> Calm down. I won't hurt you. Just tell me where the Diopter is. It was lunchtime, and my wife brought me a fresh roasted chicken leg for lunch. Which was nice, as it has been an eon since I had... Sounds delicious, but get to the part about the master's tool. Your lunch won't solve this crime. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I left the diopter in the cave. And when I came back, it was gone. Scrobbled away by wolves, the spirits, or worse. What does this diopter look like? Like a brazier, made of three parts. 
A bit you see through, a bit you measure with. I will find it. Just try not to die of fright before then. attack on site here. Bandit den. But at least we know it was not spirits that stole the tool. <laughs> Looks like a piece of the Dioptra. Bandit den. But at least we know it was not spirits that stole the tool. of the missing surveying tool. Looks like a piece of the Dioptra. Hey, what? You are yeah. mine!
Hey, hold on. Your time has come. messenger was tortured by the bandits. A touching letter. Hapti and Merope. Lovers torn apart by oppression. <laughs> Reminds me of I and myself. Poor oh, Hapti. I should look into this. He could be in trouble. He should be easy to find with a tattoo. Another piece of the tool. I should return to Vitruvius. Before the Romans make an example of Dedi. What? Uh, um, hey, what? Want me to show you how to do it? Game on you. You have it? You have my Dioptra? I found it in a bandit camp above the aqueduct. 
Really? Some of my workers complained of hearing whispers from there, believed it was haunted. I was sure it was just superstitious nonsense. I dealt with it. Nothing will haunt you now, living or dead. Excellent. And now General Agrippa has no more reason to bully my workers. He's become more ambitious since Flavius returned from Siwa, and it is not a welcome change. Thank you, Bayek. You saved my... our people's lives. I am in your debt. Fortuna smile on you, Vitruvius. Your work will help a lot of people in Cyrenica. Look at Yahoo! Shemeni Nesu, Tanatem. <laughs> 